Sim block him to entertain words. Well, not that it should even be a commandment. I feel like we overrate relationships so so much. You feel like you're troubled that you'll get in a relationship. back to my channel it is all christine Ongishi. if you're new here hi i'm christine i make content every monday and thursday so please join the family join the squad be a part of us grow with us and cut some cold vibes here and if you have anything you wish to say leave it down below on the, because i grew because of you guys um this is a platform platform where we learn from each other it's like to solo conversation it is just not be about me yeah, so on today's topic, guys, I want us to discuss about things, things I'm learning, the lessons I've learned as I continue growing. Um, in terms of now relation relationships, I did a whole episode on things I'm learning, like in my twenties. But now I feel that a little bit of a segment here, relationship drama. We should also say the things we're learning, so say in terms of relationship because man they are a lot a lot a lot a lot and yeah that's what i want us to talk about today so point number one it's okay to be single until you're ready to be with someone uh let me explain this guys so many people outside here mommy do care pressure you feel like your friend has somebody so you must really have somebody i'm almost every time somebody is already in a relationship but just because your friend you you let's say your friend ama somebody close to you is in a relationship so naske your pressure and you're like manze ah ah sa kama nani akuka relationship na ina mwendea poa let me also do the same thing but <laughs> one thing is since it's working for her it may not work for you that is one thing that you all have to understand be single until you are ready until it comes naturally. Don't force it. Don't force it, manzi. Uko streets, Zoya streets. You saw me, dear Like in the sense of uh, at the end of the day, sit down. You remember in the previous episode? I think uh, that the last week we did a series where we were talking about habits that we should normalize. People should also now. It brings me actually to my second point. People should normalize to sit down with their feelings, comprehend their feelings comprehend what they're going through comprehend their weaknesses comprehend their strengths so by the time that you're ready to be in a relationship am i ready to be with someone to the other person you get and at the end of the day me one thing i usually ask myself each and every time i try to be in a relationship because clearly this girl loves to be single but pressure you get so relationship is not a necessity but if it happens, yeah. And that is how I feel we should be living in this society in Askiato. To make care pressure, pressure mob. Like, like you really need to be with someone. You really, as in at a certain age, you have to start seeing somebody. At a certain age, you need to be, to be maybe married. I'm with a kid. Who said so? Imagine it's not like that. I feel like. Somebody should really just work on yourself. Do the self-realization part. Yes, now that is my second point. Do your self-realization part before you even think of a relationship. Because one thing, guys, it's not even fair, Manze. Kill them too. One thing outside here you people should understand is that all of us have drama, have things going on in our lives. So by the time you come into the table, bring a clean slate at least. We always have our demons everybody has their demons but you can't come with your demons like directly to me nani square kwanza manze relax so please sit down do the self realization be like yes i'm a good communicator or no maybe i'm not a good communicator maybe i don't trust easily because um early in the days uh, this and this cheated so i have trust issues sit down ask yourself how you can deal with those trust issues sit down ask yourself how you can be better and then when you're done working through these things not clearly like done done because for some of these things you get better in a relationship as in you you don't have to work through all of this alone 
but one thing is that how is it what to when you know back like to like the burden everywhere you get am i making sense i hope i am making sense so please sit down with yourself try and analyze yourself you know one thing i came to understand is that the first role of solving a problem is knowing a problem but at least you should not have to be able to say dear kama when you know that kids you do it again then it makes sense i think we're good to go So point number three, point number three, one thing I have come to realize is that compromise should be a personal decision. As much as you're compromi- uh, compromising for the other person, uh, let it be an inward decision. Like, let's say, for example, you were a vertical kitambo. Like, you used to enjoy clapping, but now this guy... This guy is the skill type. The ones that like you staying at home, ni 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 things like those. So it's like, babe, you remember when I lay in bed? Let's not do it. Like relax to go home. Come on, ni ni ni. Tell me we'll be going out. Like those chill, chill stuff, but not the whole night out. So you, because you found this guy and you think he's really nice, you you want to impress him. So you tell him we will stop. But behind the back. the guys back you're constantly going out with friends you're constantly am i you've left like kabisa kabisa you're not doing it at all trust you me not it will go on for like three months utarudi tena lazima tutarudi kwa hiyo club lazima you'll just go back to that club you will just go back to that clubbing life you'll just go back to being the typical you but as long as it was a personal decision ila ya Yes, this person is telling me something because he really cares. He's telling me something because in here, hata kama nimekuwa nikienda clubbing manze iki tu si ati ni fit sana. You see, as long as it is a personal decision you good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then the next point guys, one thing I've really really learned is Uzi force. If it's not working, it's not working. If it gets to a point that uh, the love is over let it be over because one thing i have come to realize is that from experience also is that we try so much so much to be the fixers we try so much to be the the ones of seeing hope please stop seeing hope where there is no hope guilty as charged i i i am very optimistic when i want to have something i want to have something so i'll only see the positive side of those things it is not working it's not working And one thing I have come to realize is the fact that it's better okay for you until it all fits because at the end of the day I I am those people who decide who really really like to think that everybody has someone in this world. Yeah. I know there is that quote that says maybe some of us are not meant to get married, maybe some of us are never meant to be like family people and all of that stuff, but I really think we were. I really really think we have a choice. Then the next point is that guys and this I think will go mostly to chicks. If you just have that intuition of it's not right. Was it for Satana Naya? Satana Naya. He dandi ko pali ni lazima like you be with a specific person or anything. Eh yeah. Then the next point. <laughs> Go for somebody who loves you. <laughs> Not somebody you love. As in, they usually say it's very easy for a lady to fall in love. So I really don't know. Uh, but maybe to some extent I'm really as my oh, lessons I'm learning is the fact that uh, the quote of go for somebody who loves you and not somebody you love makes a whole lot of sense. Then I think this has to be the most important point I'm going to say here is that guys one thing I've come to realize is that true love is not forced true love is not how do I put it it's not forced it's not it's not forced it's not planned the planning it's not you see like most of the time village not to from Bianca Kitambo I used to think Miss Odanga me me myself and I most of the time we in this society where uh, kama kuna fight tunaambia fight are always there mtakuwa sawa eh kama mechi tunaambia ni sawa mtakuwa sawa 
kama amekupiga it's okay for a lady to be silent sometimes ni 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 i have come to realize that there is a better version of love like yeah i do yes i hope you're getting the vibe of what i'm really trying to say and that is really really what I think I think personally that is what I really really want. You know, there's nothing as sweet as sitting down analyzing yourself and knowing exactly exactly what you want. Because one thing when you know exactly what what you want, honey, you're going to be you're going to be irresistible because one thing a man will come clearly knowing what he has to stand like what he has to prove, what he has to stand to. And if he cannot let him just get out of the way, they wait for another one, you see. And then the next point is that um please until he claims you. Until he claims you, baby girl. Uzi block him to entertain what Wait a minute. Wait wait a minute. How wait first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. You would actually be talking to like somebody you really like really want at the moment but now he's not giving you as much effort as this other one that you're giving maybe like 20% of the time. So until this one he's like you're my girlfriend and he acts right and claims you and wants to be with you. Please continue because I think most of the time me I used to most of the time to come and kill him to her but May from the relationship in my head most of the time. Once we are clicking, once we are connecting, I'll form the relationship in my mind. I'm like, we will be like this. He likes me. He wants us to get this and this. But the real thing is that guy, the guy is just giving you the bare minimum because you're really being okay with the bare minimum. And one thing my friend really told me is that I should really stop being comfortable with the bare minimum because... But I never took a grow to look out to what to be at, but so you see, bare minimum doesn't interest me, you know. That is how you know you're growing, you're growing, you're growing, you're growing. And then, guys, yeah, I think that is what I have to say. This life is pretty much weird. But one thing, just make sure, make sure you enjoy it, make sure you get the right one, make sure your life is not of tears. But yeah, true. There are so many, many people. And then, yeah, me, I'll, I'll still emphasize on the point of know yourself, know your worth, and know what you bring to the table. With the corner. Ah, that reminds me of a very nice point. Don't give to an empty cup, honey. Do not. Thou shall not. That it should even be a commandment. Thou shall not give to an empty cup. Thou shall not. Stay alone. Love yourself. Be yourself. If we cannot punch up to you, watch out. One thing that they used to tell us is that, um, I think growing, we used to hear so much that there is better, there is better. But you know, at the time when you're being heartbroken and all of that stuff, that doesn't make sense. But one thing, yes, not yet through me, but through my circle, through my people, I can clearly tell you guys that love is real. Love is special, love is good. It has compromises, yes, but just make sure. By the time you're making that compromise, to make some of and let it be from you. Is it when you come on and you make a compromise? Because that's how you can do make a compromise. Like when I for the sake of somebody else, you will definitely go back to the person you are. Let it be an inward decision. Don't be a captive to a relationship. One thing, and as I have said it, maybe some people are going to feel it strong or something, but. You can live without a relationship. You can, you can, you can, you can. Let not a relationship being be a defining factor into your life because some people outside here, sorry to say, mtuana ongea in a field ni kama a kotaid, like it's a must. You have a relationship. You have somebody in your life. Sit down one day, ask yourself, what is this person bringing to my life that I cannot get? What is this person bringing to my life that 
yes, maybe he's rich. Uh, don't get me wrong. That, don't get me wrong. There's that thing of a boyfriend. There's that thing of a girlfriend. There's that thing of having somebody who is constant. And I really, as I've said, I really hope for that. But one thing I feel like we overrate relationships so, so much. You feel like you're troubled that you'll get in a relationship and you'll be completely okay. Who told you? Who told you? You first have to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself. I can't bring another man my package. You know, as much as I'm getting to know him, as much as I love being with him, as much as I enjoy catching up with him, telling him about my day, telling me about... You see, like, the growth we are constantly having, like, Sissi Bavili. As much as I'm really having that and I'm enjoying that, I cannot be the person who keeps telling the guy about my problems. He's not my problems. He's not the source of my problems. Yeah? Yeah. And then last of all, guys, if you are constantly asking for something and it's not changing, just leave it. See it with your options. If you ask for communication, communication is not being given. If you ask for commitment, there is no commitment. If you ask for commitment, then there is no commitment. And if you ask somebody to be straightforward, are we straightforward? What are you doing, man? Relationships seek to have one It's not forced. It's not forced. It just happens. Yeah. So those are some of the few things I have learned. I would really love all of you, most all of you, to comment down below. Tell me what you're learning. Tell me what um, like behaviors you coming to terms with that you really like. Some that are very annoying lessons that you're learning in this life. And yeah, that's it from me today, guys. Remember to do all the fancy stuff. Subscribe, like, share, 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 share. Let's continue growing. Subscribe, and stuff like that. Yeah, to songi, to I love you. Mwah.